Oh, look, a brand new MMORPG, something I absolutely love to see. Uh, apparently, this is called Quinfall, which I, I'm not really sure about the name, to be honest, but it claims to be, and stop me if you've heard this one before, guys, the biggest MMORPG universe in the world. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, biggest in what way, um, but obviously we've heard a lot of companies over the years say, oh, you know, it's going to be the best thing. I always say, why don't you start with it actually existing first and then we can move on to, you know, oh, it's going to be the wow killer. Uh, but there's some trailers. There's a lot of images. There's trailers. So we're going to watch this. We're going to do a good old react to it because why would we do uh, content that requires effort? That's not what this channel's about. So it's a middle age themed MMO that involves a cursed crown, a landing chaos, and an overarching mystery. The Alpha Project, oh man, I'm sleep, I'm fucking sleep. The Alpha, we'll not read anything else, we'll come back to it I guess, if we're even interested. Uh, so we've got a cinematic and we've got a gameplay trailer. It's fucking 12 minutes long. Oh my god, it actually looks kind of good. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm down, let's go. In-game footage, all dynamic systems in progress, some camera angles adjusted for trailer, no NVIDIA RTX effects were used. This just reminds me of the Raid Shadow Legends ad. You know, in the character with the big old, fat old donkey ass is just walking to, away from the camera. Looking like a fucking centaur. Okay. I don't know. Do I go like really picky mode? Or do I just be like, yeah, it looks alright. I mean, it, yeah, it looks alright, but I don't know. Something about this just seems off. Maybe it'll come to me in a second. I mean, the animations look cool. It just looks... It, why is it in slow-mo? Hmm, I don't know. The animations look really cool. 100%. I don't know if these are pre-made or not. But it just seems very... Obviously it's an alpha, so... We can only go on what we can see. But just seems kind of disconnected. I don't know. I mean, the environments look really nice. 100%, the environments look cool. Oh, cool. Big worm. Okay. Okay. I'm interested. Is somebody going to start talking to us now? Is that what's about to happen, or...? It's actually surprising that this is in Unity, you know. Welcome to the realm of... I fucking knew it. Every time. Um, so this might shed some light on some questions that I'm going to ask, because questions we should always ask is, who the fuck are you? Um, where's your money coming from? Have you got any fans? Um, reference for the stream there for you guys, a little bit of an Easter egg. Because uh, obviously when somebody says they're making an MMO, the first question, those are the first questions, but also, are you fucking insane? Do you not like money? Um, do you love failure? Because it seems like anyone who comes into the MMO space has either got more money than God anyway and just makes some, you know, cookie-cutter, um, very safe project. And we don't even get many of them anymore unless, you know, they come from South Korea. Or it's somebody that just has no team, very little money, and almost no chance for success in your, unless your name is Albion Online. Um, so, yeah. Quinfall, adventurer on a trail to the past. Okay. 
But I am very surprised it's in Unity because you never see anything made in Unity anymore. It seems like it seems like everything's on the hype train of Unreal Engine Five, which you know uh, I'm not going to blame people for that because Unreal Engine Five is the hype train. Lands of Quinfall feature a variety of landforms, mountains, lakes, and rivers that are shaped according to their respective biomes and climates. Okay. The local flora also corresponds to the biome. I like this area. Cities are strategically spread across cliffs, shores, mountains, and even underground in a vast 2016 square kilometer land. Cool. In this world, seasons and weather conditions like rain and snow interact with your character as well as objects. Plants and some animals may decline in number in certain climates. I do think one thing that's going to change MMOs forever is probably AI. Once it gets to the point where, like, dynamic events are being run by AI that is within, like, a constrained system of, of parameters of, like, we know how we want the world to, like, roughly end up, but how do we get there? And like putting in a timeline, you know, like generating a world on Dwarf Fortress or Rimworld or something like that, and histories and, you know, spinning up new shards for people to like log on that has a random world history. And therefore, there's just going to be quests pop up and nobody knows what the game's going to be like. Like you have a foundation, you have a base where there's like, we're just going to go into a fucking mad tangent, by the way, on what I want MMOs to be like. Um, you, you'll have a base like, oh, we have these classes and um, we have these rough parameters of what we go into the campaign, for lack of a better word, um, to start with. But then everything else is like nobody knows. There's no data mining that's going to ruin the game completely. You're not going to know because you played before exactly what's going to happen. The world's just going to spin up. Everyone's going to start in these random locations that are determined uh, by the AI in what's going to be the story. Um, but it's not just going to be procedural generation, which we all know in the vast majority of instances, procedural generation is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit lacking a lot of the times. And we just have these storylines. It's just like, oh, we're in this setting now. And then this thing pops up and these things happen and nobody knows what the fuck's going on. It's like a real uh, story and world unfolding. Or maybe we don't get that and we all die and MMOs are still shit. More likely that one, <laughs> unfortunately. Some areas may be subjected to floods, and some may surface as a result of drafts. All of these are some of the elements that make up Quinfall's alive and dynamic world. Okay. I'm just getting Chronicles of Valeria flashbacks from their, like, uh, trailer footage. Those who find themselves in Quinfall will not encounter a classic MMORPG experience. Oh, here we go. I'm not in like Quinfall, the other girls. You can visit shops and taverns run by other players play board games or mini games with others and even make your own music. I like the little things in MMOs. I think we have way too little of this sort of stuff. 
like the game within the game, the reason to log on other than progression. Keep in mind that your character based things is part of a living, breathing world. I've heard you that may a million not find times. Smiths and other merchants at certain points in time. To learn more about the world, listen carefully to NPCs. Or just wait for the YouTuber to tell you how to minimax everything. <laughs> more like. Every piece of information you gather and every area or dungeon you visit will broaden your knowledge, allowing you to uncover Quinfall's mysteries and hidden areas. You may need to hidden. find secret passages, solve puzzles and decipher codes in order to discover some areas. Do not forget that there are various stories and adventures waiting to be uncovered. Some of these puzzles will help you to solve the mystery of Quinfall. So I wonder in how Quinfall, long they've been developing this. You can shape your character in any way you want. Bon there trip. are over 100 details you can change in the face alone. You are able to create a unique character with details like skin color, Damn, bro. What hair, a way to look eyes up. and body shape. While tattoos and accessories allow further customization. This world offers you 11 different improvable professions inspired okay. by the Middle Ages. You can hunt for treasures in secret areas, dungeons, open fields and underwater to find oh, valuable boy. items. You can plant seeds according to landforms and climate and harvest them for farming. If you don't have enough time, you can employ workers or real players and take time off to discover Quinfall. You can, you can literally All be a field-working peasant. Perfect. Cooking allows one to create meals and desserts that give special powers in different fields. With chemistry, you can obtain formulas and create powerful potions that heal your character or your friends. Oh, fishing. I'm sold. You can fish Where'd in I lakes, rivers and seas for various species. Some animals in different biomes can be tamed for the production of certain materials with the husbandry profession. You can also extract different resources from trees, plants and ores in various areas. This allows you to level up your... I wonder if they're going to talk about, like, more the nuts and bolts of, like, the fuck is the game? Is, is it sandbox, full loop PvP? Like, is it theme... Like, what is the game? From, like, uh, you know, put some, put some words on it. Uh, obviously, they're giving us features here, but I mean, like, what is the core focus? They say not a traditional MMO, which, what does that mean? Profession level. Keep in mind that every item you gather is extremely it looks like a sandbox, to but to what extent? Progress. If you wish, you can choose to develop your hunting profession by hunting animals. Man, it feels like this trailer's like an hour long. Okay. And I don't feel like it needed to be. Oh, baby. Caravan and merchant mounts can also be tamed oh, and baby. upgraded. Which allows you to deliver goods faster and trade efficiently. Each mount provides different advantages in different areas. 
In a 2016 square kilometer land, improving your riding mount will grant you much useful speed. To obtain new mounts, you can tame wild animals, breed existing ones, or buy from stables. Always been a big fan of taming and breeding. The okay. story of Quinfall allows you to use items that originate from different ages or ancient times, and even travel in time. You fucking what, Chief? Mate, you can't get 10 minutes and 34 seconds into a trailer and then just be like, oh, by the way, you're time traveling. What? I feel like that's just come out of left field. You can establish your home in certain areas and decorate. I don't even know why you do that. Why? I mean, I'm not exactly 100% against it, but that doesn't seem like it fits at all. I like, obviously, open world housing. Big fan of open world housing. Quinfall seas are as lively as its lands. I fucking love ocean. You can build a ship yourself and boat with your friends combat and exploration. to sail out to sea where adventure is waiting for you. Sailing allows you to explore new islands and areas while you must struggle against winds. It seems kind of like somebody played Arcage and then they were like, oh yeah, I'm making Arcage, but not Korean but probably will still be pay to win because it is the cursed timeline that we live in. But it seems kind of like Arcage, to be honest. Weather conditions and giant waves that come your way. Nature is not the only thing you must battle, as you can encounter pirates, other players, and even mystical sea monsters. Cool. Probably not going to watch the cinematic trailer. Because I might skim it. Um, I don't know who this is. <laughs> but, sure, do they give us anything else at the end? I'm just going to stare at this for 10 seconds. Okay, so no dates, no, no nothing like that. Um, so the studio is certainly writing some big checks, so it can cash... Uh, Varek, I guess that's the name of the studio, is going to present the biggest MMORPG universe in the world to the global audience with their new game, Quinfall. The studio's website says, in the upcoming years, um, they aim to adapt the real life into the digital world by creating a meta world. Oh, fuck off. Why have I just watched that whole thing? What? Fuck off. What are we doing? A meta world in a vast size that has never been seen before. Please, please don't say this is some fucking dog shit cryptocurrency metaverse project. Whenever I see the term meta, my brain just, something just happens. The company prominently lists its core investors, Istanbul-based H2O Beyond Investment, apparently not the same as the scandal-plagued H2O asset management firm or the H2O AI firm, which also makes it rather difficult to find such info on the company. Its website claims it founded in 2020 to focus on startups in the artificial intelligence, fintech, which is financial tech, uh, and gaming industries. But yeah, interesting. Um, so yeah, we don't really know much about this, to be honest. I'll, I'll have a dig. I'll have a look around. I'll speak to some people and see if I come up with anything. But yeah, I'm, I guess wait, nobody's asking for any money at this point, so there's no harm in waiting and watching and seeing what happens. Uh, maybe they have a really good product here. Um, obviously going to hold my opinion on that one. What the fuck is this? Just weird. Seems kind of like Alien in that way, where they've just like mixed a bunch of like, oh, steampunk and pirates and all this weird shit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching as always, and uh, click the links in the video description. Let me know if you've got any content ideas, anything you want to see me cover, talk about, investigate, whatever else, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.